Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the uh, Three Kingdoms Total War uh, Gong Du campaign. We're at uh, 145 turns. This campaign just kind of blew by. It's just blowing on by. So uh, my first campaign as Liu Bei took me 221, uh, 221 turns to win. Second campaign as Yuan Shu slash Sun Se later on took me out 203. I wonder how long... We're at 145. I wonder how long this one's going to take me. We will see. Has brought you to the very um, of your enemy. I feel like Behind overall, the situation is better now than it was in the they Yuan Shu campaign. So Yet we'll see. We are are getting attacked by a lot of enemies at the moment. This is like, this is the moment where everything kind of tipped against us. So. Hmm. One thing about being the Yellow Turbans is that um, have I don't have many diplomatic options. Uh, and by any, by many, I don't really have any. If they do not I only have enemies, one trade agreement. And uh, yeah, they must be so that's definitely, that's force. definitely a thing that exists. Uh, thankfully, we get a shitload of money just from killing people. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see. You got talents. I keep saying no to all these guys here. Alrighty. So let's take a look. We have uh, Gongdu and this army under the command of Shen Qi. These guys are up here. They're retraining at the moment. Uh, Gongdu is here. He's also retraining. Where are we at? There's Gongdu. Just had that fight. A couple of crazy battles over here. We wiped out like three, uh, three Kingdom of Wei armies over there. Uh, down in the south, we're fighting the Kingdom of Ba. We're besieging them there. And I've got this army recovering over at the Kangwu Lumberyard uh, right here. This is uh, Ping Jun. And there is a whole host of enemies here. They've got one, two, three, four at least armies in this region. I think there are more. So that area is probably the most critical. I've got an army here in Yizu, and I'm besieging a Kingdom of Ba army here with uh, this completely fresh army. I've never done anything with this army yet. So that, they are untested in battle. Are they all, they're all kitted out with weapons and stuff, so that's good. Uh, let's see, what do you have? He's got the black thoroughbred. Okay, so I think that that's all. I don't think there's anything really I could do this turn aside from possibly upgrading some buildings. Um, to provide more food. Hanzong, Wudu. Wudu could actually use an upgrade. Let's go ahead and upgrade Wudu to a large regional city. That's going to make it an even bigger city. Uh, An Ding could also use an Why? Why is my construction time only one turn now? That seems crazy. Let's go ahead and upgrade An Ding too. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure why exactly. Maybe that's one of my something I've researched, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Uh could upgrade that. I don't think that's really gonna help me. Income from peasantry. Let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna give us five percent. This gives us a little bit more. Let's go ahead and do that. That'll also give us more food. Uh and alright, let's go ahead and end the turn and let's see how things go. We did see that Guan Yu, uh, speaking of which, there he is. There is Guan Yu. Well, speak of the devil. Guan Yu is back, and uh, he is going to take this uh, Luoyang Lumberyard back. Uh, we're, we can't win this. Let's just delegate this out. Probably going to go send uh, Gong Du up, up north to deal with you, uh, Guan Yu. Okay, we've got two Kingdom of Wei armies. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stop. How many armies do you have? My goodness. That's a lot of armies, man. All right. All right. This Kingdom of Ba army is coming out to fight us, um, which is good. They're predicting a victory for them. What kind of levels are we dealing with here? I guess it won't tell us. Maybe like a level four. All right. These are all fairly high level generals. I don't think we want to fight them. This is going to be a tough fight. This army is pretty. This army is really weak. This is probably going to be a tough fight. Let's, uh, let's take this battle. 
So we just trained this army up out of nothing. Uh, probably going to be a little rough for them. China no peace. But we shall see. Be flexible and victory will surely come. Let's do it, guys. Our only option is victory. See it done. That is our that is our only option. Come on, level one generals, don't let don't let me down here. <laughs> All right, enemy is attacking us, so we have we have the ability to set our men out. It might be nice to defend from this forest. Provide some cover for us. We have a ridiculous amount of yellow turban warriors. <laughs> oh my god. All right. We're going to put spears on this flank and we're going to put cavalry on the other. We could actually put our cavalry in the forest here. I don't know if we can hide them very well. Hmm. We're probably not going to be able to hide them too well. All right. Looks like they're both hidden now. Uh, I want to keep these chanters alive as long as I can. So we just have a, we pretty much just have a massive line of infantry is what we have. We're going to try to use the forest for some cover here. Let's see. This is a melee attack rate. Do we have any other buffs? We've got a disorient melee buff. We've got a heal amount, so she, she will automatically heal herself in battle. All right, let's uh, start the battle here. Look out! Let's see. Enemy reinforcements are here. This is this general Yin Cheng. We've got Huyang Xiao right here. These are all brand new generals. We've got uh, Qin Yang Shu. A whole bunch of brand new generals here, fresh, fresh off the the presses. They're kind of uh, all scattered here. They're going to be rejoining with their. They're going to try to join up with their reinforcements. I guess we're just going to let them. The alternative is trying to attack, and that would just take way too long. So we'll just let this happen. Uh, attacking would be not great. This kingdom of Ba, these jerks. We never even did anything to the kingdom of Ba. They just didn't like us from day one. I wonder how exactly they got Yi archers. Like, how did they get Yi archers? I don't know. Let's go ahead and make sure my archers are not on skirmish mode. So the fact that they put their men so far back, it means that their trebuchet is basically a non-issue, I think. I don't know. They're going to take the time to bring in their trebuchet. Okay. Well, it might, it's going to take their trebuchet a long time. I don't think they're going to sit back and try to use all the trebuchet ammo, which would be real bad for us. So we should be able to get this battle going pretty fast. I never realized exactly how many archers they have. Look at how many archer units they have pretty crazy these are the generals they've got uh let's see who is this uh cow g ying g Wan. they have all female generals wow how how forward thinking of them <laughs> okay i'd rather not uh arrange my men in some kind of i don't want to like exactly make a straight line for fighting here we want to use the forest to our advantage uh, it's gonna take them a while just to get to me uh they're just kind of slowly running oh well, it gives me time to uh take a sip
healer's tunic 10 armor base is that good what about this 26 armor base and this is how much for this guy 42 armor base so i guess the armor maybe is how is how these units uh like how they take damage i suppose i'm gonna actually try to edge my men backwards a little bit farther into the forest here just a bit not too much all right they're they're into their closing distance here i'm gonna go move my archers forward I wonder if any of them would none of them want to duel unfortunately it'd be pretty amusing to duel one of their generals but apparently not no fun i could see this battle being really rough we'll see but i've got a i, I kind of have a bad feeling about this battle <laughs> especially with how badly we're outnumbered And the fact that I have all yellow turban warriors. Let's let's see how the yellow turban warriors will hold out at least, I guess. No shots from the trebuchet. We many of my men are still hidden. They're kind of using the forest right now. So that's good for us. All right, we're going to make sure my cavalry is uh ready to go cuz their cavalry is edging forward already. Looks like we're actually taking some trebuchet shots now. Yeah, the trebuchet is firing on us. There's really nothing I can do about that unless I wanted to commit cavalry to that. So we're just going to have to leave that as is. The losses should be somewhat negligible. All right, we're going to attack here, attack here, and attack here. My archers have opened fire. Uh, we're being challenged to a duel. Trying to keep all my men coming in. I maybe should not have taken that duel. There's a chance I maybe should not have, but uh, we took it. It's too late now. All right, my cavalry got majorly hung up here. It looks like one of my cavalry units got free. Okay, it looks like uh, this unit's over here. I, I don't know about this cavalry situation. We're getting shot by a lot of their archers. Um, situation seems fine. Um, that cavalry unit's running, unfortunately. They got kind of mobbed on. I think my general here is winning. This is Chin Yang Shu. I think she's winning against their commander. This cavalry unit came back. Let's go throw this cavalry unit into this uh, against the saber militia. Okay, my cavalry kind of got mobbed on, but overall, I feel like this is actually going very well. Um, the trebuchet has gotten 77 kills, uh, which really isn't too bad, I suppose. 
I think my general is just about to win against their general right here. I think that's just about over. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah, killer, 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 stab her. She's holding out good. I'm seeing a lot of routing in different spots, but uh, they're hanging in there pretty tough. Our left flank is taking some hits. We actually lost on the left flank. We smashed the right flank and lost on the left flank. Looks like uh, my general won that battle. We killed their general. Okay, Chin Yang Shu's running back that way. That was one one less general we have to worry about. All right, I think we've got this well in hand. It's just, uh, it's just going to be a nightmare trying to sweep up the, the remaining men, unfortunately. But I think we've got this uh, under control at this point. Uh, go attack their general right here. Yeah, immobilize their general here. You kill him. Get him, Yin Cheng. She's about to rout. The enemy general is there we go. That's one more general down. The trebuchet has ceased fire. Uh, they've got some men still firing at me over here in Archer Militia. Uh, this is going to be a bloody victory for us, but it is a victory. A victory is a victory, especially with a ragtag army like this of all yellow turban warriors. <laughs> Stand ready. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. One step closer to victory. All right, let's go ahead and uh, claim victory. Certainly a bloody battle, but that was uh, that was a not an easy win for this army. Uh, Archers got a ton of kills. Yellow turban warriors did their part. Uh, my general killed one of their generals. This is some valuable experience for my men, too. GG. Let's see, 1,200 losses, 1,900 kills. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit. We could use the numbers. We're being attacked at two spots by rebels. Okay. So all in all, that turn could have been much worse. Much, much worse. Ah, uh, so Cow Cow, uh, holy shnikes. Pure folly. This Han Empire Renegade turned into like a holy shit dick's army. That's insane. Holy fucking shit, man. All right, wow. We'll have to deal with that. I haven't seen a rebellion get that out of hand before. All right, we're going to delegate this one. This is an easy win for us. I got to do something about that city is so unhappy. Let's go and take some free money here. Uh, let's see. Where are we under siege? We're under siege at Shang Yang as well. Should be able to drive these guys off too. All plans are coming to pass. Yep. Free money for us. Release them. And Ling Ling is under siege. Is this this is but this is not a rebellion siege. This is the actual That's Lady Wu who's under siege. You know, Lady Wu was was put into this war by Cow Cow. And uh I don't know. And now Cow Cow has liberated Lady Wu? So they're no longer vassals or anything. They really, really don't want peace. Um, we thought you dead. See, diplomatic. We could uh, do some kind of diplomatic treaties with Gongsun Zan. This would be a non-aggression pact. 
Uh, I guess they are allies with everybody but them. Hmm. Sure, let's make let's make a non-aggression pack with Gong Soon Zon. I don't want to fight this guy. I don't. What about uh, Kong Rong? What is it you want to discuss? How about a non-aggression pact, buddy? Uh, let's see. Trade Ansel. I'm sure I have something I could give you. You know, I actually ha I just realized I have all this armor that I can't use. <laughs> Why am I not trading this stuff? Yeah, here. Perfect. Agreeable terms. All right, so we have a non-aggression pact with Gong Soon Zan, a non-aggression pact with Kong Rong. Um... Would anybody take peace? Your treacherous tongue is great. Nah. What about uh, what about Lady Wu? Nah, absolutely not. What about uh, Cow Cow? What business could we possibly have? Absolutely not. Okay. Nobody wants peace, as usual. What good is peace? Strike as one. So I think we can win this. Yeah, it's going to be a decisive victory. They only have 657 men left. It's going to be decisive. Let's go ahead and delegate this one out. Picture victory, and it will be okay. yours. And uh, this is retaking my port town from the kingdom of Ba. Our dominion grows. and wiping out that army. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Looks like Liu Bei has taken over. Look at this. Look at this thing right here. Good God, man. Trying to just sort through all this stuff. Just too much shit going on. Uh, more rebellions. Killed in battle. Killed in battle. Common, common talent. Gained a bunch of stuff. All right. So this army is royally fucked up. Uh, they are also leveled up. Range block plants. Just 10% research rate would be really nice. 10% melee armor piercing damage. Fanaticism unit morale let's go ahead and take this fanaticism that sounds pretty good I like some fanatics in my army uh let's see anything for we already have this one for range damage strength of the land this is a passive buff i really like this passive buff this idea of a buff i don't have to do anything I like that I like how this general was the only one that killed another general in a duel, but she didn't even get to level up. That's uh, sexism, man. Blatant sexism. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. We got Yunnan over here, a spice market from the kingdom of Ba. Let's go ahead and take the spice market. Is it, I've never seen a spice market before. What does this even look like? Kind of looks like... Uh, What's it called? The silk, the silk area. Let's just delegate this one. This one's an easy win for us. The sooner I can wipe out the kingdom of Ba, the, the better. Be sooner the better. Only by growth will the word so, uh, be Occupy. Forty percent income from spices. So I guess if you control all the spice markets, that'd be quite good for your quite good for your economy. All right, Xiong, Xiong Ping Yuan has leveled up. Let's see, what do I want to give this person? 6% income from commerce, public order, effortless flow. Um, let's go ahead and let's take uh, effortless flow. All right, so this army is going to have to stay there, but we're going to continue pushing this way. We've only have, it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six more territories to take from these people, and we're good. So that war is nearly completed, and uh, once the kingdom of Ba is gone, that'll be quite good. All right, so we have a, a lot of armies up here, a whole lot of armies. Mad. And the thing is, I can't sign peace because a lot of these people are vassals, too. So you can't sign peace with a vassal. You have to sign peace with their master. Embrace impulse. So, I mean, I'd love to fight one of these armies single-handedly, but uh, they got two armies together. 
That's pretty bad. A part of me wants to try another ambush or some of some kind, right? We're going to put this army into an ambush state. My lord, how can I serve? Let's go move this army over here into this forest and try to put them in an ambush. And I think if I move Gongdu over here, maybe that will lure these two armies into attacking and they, they might go into the ambush. But uh, we'll see. Either way, we can come to terms over there with those uh, that that incursion. This army is still kind of hanging out over here. Um, a whole lot of enemies over here. Let's move this army towards all these positions. Like Ling Ling is defending itself. They're probably going to build some siege towers or something Absolutely soon. Or not. siege rams. Hmm. All right. Let's move this army this way. We got to get them closer. Uh, they'll also retrain as they go and hopefully we can try to pick away there's just so many enemies here that that's uh, a very deadly situation we're still bleeding a lot of territory is there anything else i can level up we just leveled up wudu to a larger city Two hundred income from peasantry um 20 percent income from all sources let's see is there anything else i can level up here got more rebels more rebel scum everywhere i look rebel scum so that's on ding uh that's the city let's see what do we have at on ding we've got the scholars lodge which is just research rate income from peasantry uh, I could build a farmer housing. I guess let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Chong An could use an upgrade. Let's go ahead and do that. Upgrade there. And it looks like Han Zong could also use an upgrade. At least, at least my income at least in this campaign, at least my income seems pretty steady. Like we had our income problems at, uh, to start with. But it seems like everything is going pretty well in terms of money. I'm really, really nervous about this stupid Han Empire rebellion. I don't know what happened at Ba Dong, but that army, that rebellion just went ham on me. All right, let's go ahead and quick save in case there is a crash and end a turn. I can't believe Liu Bei is in, is in control of the uh, kingdom of Ba now. All right, looks like my holy shnikes. It looks like my ambush failed, but Gong Guan Yu is attacking Gong Du. And this is like one of the biggest battles I think I've seen in this game. Two Kingdom of Wei armies versus two of my armies and my garrison. They think they've got a chance at this. I'm kind of the thing I'm worried about. I'm not even worried about the game. Like, I'm not worried about losing. I'm worried about like the game crashing or something. <laughs> I guess that's the, I, guess, I think that's the real enemy here. But uh, we shall see. They do have some of these high tier defenders of heaven, protectors of heaven units. Those units are not to be trifled with. So I wonder, I've got reinforcements coming from multiple st spots. I wonder if like some kind of ambush would make sense here. Probably not. Probably not. I shouldn't be cute with this number of enemies here. Uh, let's see. We'll put Guan, we'll put Gong Du over here. And let's put these guys here too. I'll right, we'll just start a battle. Enemy reinforcements are arriving. Quick march! Cavalry, to attention! Harass! Alright, my other army is uh arriving from here, and my garrison, I believe, is gonna be arriving from that direction. Scatter! 
This is going to be a very, very interesting battle. All right. I don't really have the ability. I don't have the ability to keep all my men in order. Can, can all of my men even arrive? I think I've got too many men. <laughs> There's really not much I can do with that army. It's not letting all of my men onto the battlefield. So we're just going to have to make do, I guess. Let's see. Uh, it's going to arrange my men like so. To be very cautious. I want to I want to kind of make a like a, an L shape here to trap both of their armies. Yeah, the reinforcements are on their way. They're running as fast as they can. We're actually taking some fire right now from some archers. Uh, we'll go charge them with my white wave horsemen. Okay, opening charge right here on these on these uh, archer militias. We're just gonna run in and run quickly back out. They've got spears. I don't want to actually commit to some kind of garbage engagement. Uh, my archery masters are taking some shots over there. They're uh, shooting at them. Going to charge these units of cavalry right here. Go turn off this uh, skirmish mode. Bring up the rest of my men right here. We've got a pretty large attack coming in. Gong Du is accepting this. Strength similar. That's a whole lot of duels. Accept all the duels. <laughs> I saw these duels. Holy shit, this cavalry. What is this cavalry assault? We might lose some generals here, man. Because I accepted every duel. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh... Trying to use my abilities here. I really don't want a uh, gong do to die. Obviously that's like the general. I don't want to die. My cavalry is majorly like, I don't know what to say about my cavalry. I can't keep track of everything that's happening. <laughs> It looks like Gong Du is winning, and it looks like Her Yi is also winning. All those defenders of Earth got into me. There is just entirely too much shit happening in this battle. <laughs> it's just, it's just too much shit. It's literally too much shit. I can't do it all. I can't do this much shit at once. I don't know if I'm winning. I hope I'm winning. Gong Du is still fighting.
Many of my men ran out of ammo. Let's throw them into melee, I guess, because I don't know what else to do with them. This side looks like it's in our favor. Guan Yu and Gong Du are still fighting over here. It looks like we just killed Guan Yu. Uh, Her Yi is being being challenged by this guy. Uh, I guess we'll accept that one. Her Yi already won a duel. Is he going to win a second duel? It's like he might. This is this. Uh, this battle has been insane. I wonder if those duels uh, tipped in our tip the battle in our favor. They very well could have. Okay. The enemy warriors are running. <laughs> There's a lot of routing going on over here. Um, Got some fire arrows coming in. It's like her Yi won that battle pretty nicely. Try to go attack these defenders of Earth. We don't want them shooting and nailing our guys. Man, what the hell was this battle? This tree is on fire. Oh, oh, the humanity. <laughs> oh, the humanity. It's horrible. I mean, I'm trying to just, I'm, I, what I'm trying to do is just make sure at least all of my men are fighting. Like everybody's fighting. If everybody's fighting. I feel like we got a pretty good chance. I think the biggest thing I did wrong was I mismanaged my cavalry, but it's just so hard to manage everything. Look, the enemy run. Looks like army losses have kicked in uh, between attacking their killing their generals. Uh, winning all the duels we did. I feel like all that weighed in our favor, but man, what a ridiculous battle. What were the losses like? This week, it says, uh, 4,000. My God. Crazy, crazy battle. Gong Du kills Guan Yu. Shu He. Her Yi. Dude, Her Yi won two duels. <laughs> I didn't even get all my reinforcements in. My reinforcements didn't even have time to arrive. Still shooting the last guys, I guess. The spear guard. Wild. Very wild. That archery master unit somehow got 330 kills. Man. That was a ferocious attack. 257 kills on that people's warband. Uh, archers got a lot. Some archers got a little, a lot of kills. Some didn't. Reclaimers got over 200 kills. Oof, man. Oh, we broke Guan Yu's neck. Justice cannot be denied. Hmm. Whole lot of money. All right, uh, she is you on kill you. We should not waste resources on imprisoning. Kill you, kill you, kill you. All killed. We could probably use the replenishment. 2000 is a lot of money. Let's go to recruit. Now, what a wild battle. Holy crap. And there's just more Kingdom of Wei armies on the way, dude. It is, they're just more coming. Oh boy. The, la the worst thing ever would be a crash right about now. That would be the worst thing ever. All 
right, two of my cities are under attack by rebels. Um, all right, so we gained the green dragon crescent blade. I think that's got to be one of like, that has to be one of like the best weapons in the game, right? For romance mode. Let's go wipe out these uh, Han renegades right here. Those who do not bend to authority will break. And uh, let's go ahead and ransom for some more money. And uh, Han Zong is under siege. Is Han Zong? Okay, that should be fine. This is, Han Zong doesn't have a garrison that worries me. Those who oppose harmony must be crushed. Another win for us. Ransom, Release free money. Them. Okay. Some of my characters leveled up. Um, they discovered the ambush. I guess that's why that failed. Okie dokie. So Guo Yi leveled up. Let's see. Plus income, armor, melee armor, range, piercing damage. Uh, we could also get some of these others. See, Preach gives more armor and melee evasion. That's a passive buff. Let's go ahead and take the opportunism here. For the people. Be still. All right, so both of these armies de definitely need some uh, recuperating time for sure. To react with agency. Serve yeah, this army needs a turn to recover. Promotes this army promotes. needs a, a turn or two to recover itself. I think it's best to wait over there. I think it's best to wait and not uh, not attack this turn. Okay, Khan Gu has leveled up. If I get this, I think I can recruit. I can either recruit trebuchets right now or very soon I can. Uh, and then he could use that flaming shot. Hmm. Commanding shout, unbreakable, ranged armor, piercing damage, ranged damage, unbreakable. This gives more cunning. This enables night battles and guerrilla deployment. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and let's go with. Can we recruit? I can't recruit one yet. Can I swap unit? I'm not even sure which units can recruit uh, trebuchets. Can anybody recruit a trebuchet? Let's see, what about you? Let's take a look at our research. Oh no, we're not done with that yet. Two turns away. I don't know if he's going to be able to research it. We'll take, honestly, the cunning isn't bad anyway. We'll just take that one for now. And uh, if we can recruit a trebuchet over there, that would be really nice, but we'll see if that even happens. I answer, my lord. Okay, situation's bad here with these two way armies. Uh, we'll kind of see. I think the, the enemy... I'm going to wait and see if those enemies kind of divide themselves. And uh, it's possible. Embarking. All right, I'm hoping there's... Oh, oh my god. Hang on. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, we've got... A Kingdom of Wei army and a Lady Wu, a Sun Ren is right here. Uh, we could attempt to take out both of those armies at once. Sounds dicey. Let's come back there in just a minute. This army is retraining at the moment. Let's actually go wipe out this Han Empire rebellion real fast while they're here. We can even use them to replenish our numbers a bit, I think, too. Okay. Celebration is due. Yeah, Let the 76 wine losses. Go. Let's go ahead and recruit. We have need of courageous warriors. Deflect with shield, cleave with sword. Okay. This army is in pretty good shape. Let's go send this army towards the Yizu Lumberyard. Is this my land? So if I go right here, we should be fine. It'd be nice to get one more turn of replenishment in there for Zankai. 
Okay, so the real question is, what do I do with uh, Ping Jun over there? Do we have do we have night battles? This army is not. This general is level four, level four, level five. These two armies right here. I mean, the worst they can do is take Nan Yang, and then they'll be sandwiching themselves between my two armies. That's like the absolute worst that can happen. Gongdu, by the way, is 66 years old and her Yi is 59. <laughs> and when they, I'm going to be real, it's going to be really bad when those guys die. All right, let's go ahead and I feel like we should attack here. No. Ben. While we can, we're going to go attack Soon Ren right now. Oh, wow. It actually looks like Sun Ren is going to be on her own. So the, the Kingdom of Wei is not going to reinforce. I thought they were going to reinforce. All right. Let's go ahead and start this battle. Should be a large battle. I should have saved first. Should be a large battle here, but I think we can win this pretty can pretty handily. In these battles, I really like having... Um, I don't want to say a spam, but let's say a large amount of yellow turban warriors. I just like having them. They feel, uh, they feel not strong, but they're just comfortable. They're reliable. You know what you're going to get out of your yellow turban warriors. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go ahead and arrange my men. I think I should... If there's anything I should do, I should maybe consider transitioning my yellow turban warriors into white wave veterans. I'm pretty sure the white wave veterans are some of the best units that I can field. Should probably consider doing that. Okay, let's go arrange my reclaimers over here. I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, I've got my yellow turban warriors all around. I've got my cavalry here too. Let's go ahead and start this battle. And I don't know if the enemy is going to attack us. Let's go ahead and move in ourselves. We uh, won't give them the chance. Some crazy battles this episode, man. Some really crazy battles. move those men into the forest i'm gonna move my cavalry over here I'm gonna try to edge up my men one at a time So Sun Ren in the Yuan Shu campaign, she put a real bad hurting on me with my faction leader, no less. So I have, uh, let's say I have a healthy respect for Sun Ren. But then again, Yuan Shu was never really like, not quite uh, the strongest general in the game. Let's put it that way. I think the idea with Yuan Shu, at least like how he's supposed to function is he supposed to be really good at uh, leading men? So he provides lots of passive buffs to like morale, etc. I think that's like his gimmick. Looks like the enemy might be moving in on me. Or at least they're repositioning. I've been doing a bad job lately of managing my cavalry. I'm going to try to do a bit better with that. This this one. Relative strength overwhelming. We're going to decline that battle. 
<laughs> yeah, they're going. If I accept any of these duels, they're trying to kill Fung Yu. Dude, fuck you. You're not going to kill Fung Yu. Go, go Fung yourself, lady. <laughs> not doing that. All right. We're taking shots. Let's go move in and assault here with these yellow turbans, white wave. All right, my cavalry is engaging theirs. Treachery, hidden enemies. Why they really want to duel me here? I like how none of them are dueling uh, my other generals over there. Pretty sure my cavalry smashed theirs. Um, are we gonna go send the, these units over here to go attack here? I want to get some close-ups here. This battle looks crazy. We're fighting in the forest. My archers are shooting in here. The forest is burning as well. Uh, some crazy shit. The entire forest is burning at the moment. <laughs> I want to go bring in these. I want to bring the bringers of righteousness closer. We're going to try to catch up with Sun Ren and take her down. The enemy warriors are running. We got some generals came up from behind here. Let's go try to wipe out these generals too. How's this fighting going? I think uh, we, we're about to take out Sun Ren. She's about to go down. She's routing at the moment. Let's make sure she stays routed. The time has come. Destroy them. Spears to hurt. The enemy general is fallen. They were no match. Or we took down Sun Ren. That was a dangerous enemy. My archers have uh, used all their ammo. My archers didn't get it. Well, some of my archers got some kills. This one barely got any. I think army losses must have taken. Yeah, army losses took over and they just routed. Did they have reinforcements coming? No, they did not have reinforcements coming. Yellow Turban Warriors, we're chasing down these crossbowmen. Not a battle for a lot of arrows here. Not a lot of arrows made a huge difference. But uh, overall, pretty crazy victory. I like, I like the forest just burning down while we're fighting in it. <laughs> it's pretty amusing. Ping Jun got some good kills. Feng Yu, everybody did their part. Let's go ahead and claim that victory. Decisive. What I like to see. We got the most kills. 136 kills on that unit of yellow. See, look at that. Each of those yellow turban warriors, man. 136, 115, 100 kills. Reliable. Reliable. Reliable as all heck. So we cut off her head. Oh, no. She's just dead. Yeah. I was going to say we cut off her head, so we severely wounded her. <laughs> All right, let's uh, execute, recruit. I could use the, the numbers. Dismiss. Sprout ever upwards. Oh, if only I wish I could catch up with that army too, right here. No. I wish I could wipe out this army too. Can't do that. All right, let's take a look. Can I actually, 
So we're using the serpent spear here. Can I, any other weapons I got? Ooh, I could give Fung Yu the green dragon crescent blade. That'd be wild. I can't give it to this guy, to Xiao Chen though. Can't give it to him. I wonder who I should give that weapon to. China is people. Tong Shen? You give it to him? Troops. See, I can maybe give it... This guy's just using this one. We give it to Yin Cheng. Why don't we give it to Yin Cheng? And, uh... Alright. I'll do that. And I think that's pretty much all we're going to be able to do this turn. Uh, I don't think there's really anything I want to do over here. I'm still waiting to see if this ambush pays off. I kind of don't think it will, but maybe. And uh, if that's if that's the case, that'll work in our favor. Anything else? No, no. And we, we've had some of the most wild battles I've ever had in this uh, in this episode. Some crazy, crazy battles this episode. Uh, still have some rebellions. I think I'm about to lose Ba Dong, the city, to this giant army. I'm probably going to try to send this army up north to deal with it. And then I'll just leave Zhang Kai in the south to try to wipe out uh, Yizu, Jiaozi, Jiaozi, Yulin. I don't think the kingdom of Ba has a lot left to fight us with. I would even consider taking peace with them temporarily. Uh, let's see, non-aggression, military access, form coalition. Nobody really wants to do anything. Yeah, nobody really wants much of anything at the moment. Diplomacy is uh, not the strong suit of the yellow turbans. Let's put it that way. The thing I'm worried about right now, the thing that's like, eh, I don't know what I'm going to do when that happens, is what happens when Gong Du dies? <laughs> I, think, I think that probably worries me the most. Um, we're going to have to find out. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and end this turn. Hopefully Gong Du lives another 100 turns. I just, I don't think he's going to. It looks like there's no attack from the Kingdom of Wei over there. I was kind of expecting one. All right, they're, they're predicting a decisive defeat. Uh, maybe if we were fighting like one army, we could do something. I don't really feel like fighting this. As much as I... I haven't fought a siege, like defended a siege in forever. Uh, as much as I, it would be fun to do this, I'm just going to delegate this one. Not really worth my time because I can't win. So we lost Ling Ling, which was our, our city in the region. So we're being attacked by 296 men. This is a very small army and a fairly large reinforcing army. I'm actually going to retreat, I think. Stand down. I'm hoping I retreated far, far enough. No, I don't think I did. All right. I was hoping I retreated far enough to uh, retrain, but apparently not. That army over there with Ping Jun, that army is now in a lot of danger. They're in, a, they're in a rough spot. We're gonna have to deal with that. Okay, Huang Shi was commanded to attack us. All right, let's go over to Ping Jun. Let's go deal with this first. Yeah, this army kind of got uh, very, very isolated. Oh my god, dude. What am I going to do? <laughs> what the hell is this army going to do? They're like wounded. They're beat up. They're wounded. I refuse. Remain honest. So this is a cow army and this is Lady Wu. I feel like my best bet is to attack Lady Wu and try to defeat her in battle. I think that might be what I'm gonna have to do. Alright, we'll we'll delay that we'll delay that momentarily. 
Let's go attack Yizu. This is a, a Kingdom of Ba Lumberyard. Let's go ahead and delegate this one. No reason for us to fight that. Justice cannot be denied. Easy win. In time, they will thank us for this. Uh, do nothing, pay. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. This is 10 satisfaction faction. Let's go ahead and pay for doctors. Why not? Your arrival is welcome, my lord. Just took Yizu. We've only got one, two, three, four, five more areas here to take. The entire southwest region is going to be under our control. So there's an ambushing army somewhere over here. I don't know where. Somewhere. Resist corruption and endure hardship. I think our, the best thing we can do up here right now is nothing. I think we should just let these armies retrain them build up their men. Kind of want to swap this yellow turban archer into an archery master while we're here and they're training up because why not? Remain supple. I'm kind of tired of this militia of virtue as well. I don't think the militia of virtue is super useful. Part of me just wants another unit of archery masters. Let's go grab another unit of archery masters here. Do not break. All right, so this army just got a major melee buff. Uh, we'll leave that as is. Warriors, attend. I think I should move this army in a hurry up here to try to go catch these Han rebels. I mean, really, like, that place is going to fall anyway. It almost I think it'd almost be worth it if I sent this army in this direction to go help facilitate the faster destruction of the Kingdom of Ba. I don't know. But this army is also the only one who could take it. All right. Uh, they're, like, they're actually the closest. All right. It's going to take them a while to even get there, unfortunately. Okay, so we're doing we're deciding to do nothing up here. I don't want to move this army because I don't want to get ambushed. I think there's an ambush around here somewhere. And these armies were letting retrain, so I guess we're just gonna leave that as is. Is there any are there any buildings? Let's go up to upgrade Shang Yong. Come from peasantry. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this one would be 1700 over seven turns. Some various upgrades going on, but I think that's going to be all we can do. Oh, Bashi is under attack. Let's go wipe out the attackers. Easy win. I think there was another city that got it's under realm. attack by rebels. We should go deal with those. I am not without mercy. Oh, is it just Bashi? I guess it was just Bashi. We gained a war blade. All right, let's go over now. I think this will probably be the last battle of this episode. I think I have to go attack Lady Wu here. This will put me back in my territories. So then I can retrain and try to escape. This puts us in this Kangwu rice paddy. Yeah, this is probably going to be my best bet for victory. Her reinforcements are are really of not much concern. I think this is going to be my best bet. Let's go ahead and uh, start this battle. This is going to be rough, man. So my yellow turban warriors got a little beat up in the previous battle. Her men are not in great shape either, though. Mostly it's my cavalry that's going to be a real issue. My cavalry is very weak right now. Hmm. Man, I don't know. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough, tough battle, I think. I think their reinforcements are not much to be concerned with. I kind of wish I had a shitload of Yu Sha right here to just murk the hell out of them all right 
how far over can we put my guys? That's about it. All right, let's go ahead and start this battle. Look out! Enemy reinforcements are here. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about this battle. I really don't want to lose this army. This is a really good army. But they just they just got surrounded by enemies. I might try to lean more heavily on my generals here. Keep all my cavalry together. With speed. Attend. Move out quickly. Ready. Hurry. Go. Go. All right. It's difficult to see where they are considering they are in the forest. Treachery. Hidden enemies. We are uh, taking fire from their archers. So far, the losses are negligible. Uh, let's go ahead and move in my archers. Open fire with them. I think if I shoot flaming arrows, I was thinking about it for a moment. I think if I shot flaming arrows, I would more likely set my men. I, I'm more likely to set fires around me than them. It's like uh, this general's hurt a little bit. Is that healing them? I guess it is healing them. Is being oh, that heal is that I thought the heal was only gonna be one enemy, one of my units. Looks like it's like all of them. That's pretty sick. It's actually really good. Oh, we're getting a nasty cavalry charge over here. to see what's happening um whole bunch of my men just leapt into battle here got a bunch of passive buffs um Looks like Ping Jun killed one of the enemy generals over there. Destroy them. Take heed, warriors. Ready. Take heed, warriors. To attention, spearmen. Move out quickly. Right, I don't think I'm. Ha I don't think I have great engagements going with these other with this uh, archer unit. We're gonna put them on them or this. Uh, what's it called? Bringers of Righteousness. Let's go ahead and throw Our them in over no here. Ammunition. They cannot fire. Make ready. Oh, wow. My general is actually routing over there. Uh, I think we routed a unit over there, but then my men decided to run off. All 
Cavalry, attend! Destroy them! We ran off those units. Ah, it's just kind of just really hard to see what's going on. It's like nighttime in a forest. Like the shittiest time for a battle. All right, the my general is being challenged to a duel. We'll take that. Ping Jun's very high level. I have no doubt he can win that pretty easily. A uh, Xiao Chen is fighting these two uh, scholar generals. Okay, my general, my archers have run out of ammo. We're going to throw them into melee as well. How's Ping Jun doing? Looks like he's almost got it underhand. If he can just win before this, let's see if he can win before that's over. Looks like the battle's in our favor, but man. Oh, he's got the fallen relative and fallen Osworn. Okay, we do not want to fight Soon Quan right now. That we we do not want to fight him. He's got all the buffs in the world right now. Go charge here. I think the swift win of the duel maybe help. Yeah, duel won swiftly. That helps my men a lot. It's really good for morale. All right, all that's left really is killing Soon Quan. Soon Quan got crazy kills this battle. Like, holy shit. 167. Uh, he's oh he's Sun Quan is challenging Xiao Chen, but Xiao Chen is fucking hurt. We're not gonna fight that. No way. Oh yeah, you don't you don't want to duel Sun Quan doesn't want to duel. Uh, he wants to duel my weak general, not my strong one. We call that a coward, my friend. Right, we're trying to bring down Soon Quan here. Um, Show fury. Attend, the enemy general falls. There we go. We just brought him down. Oh man, that was another another fucking ridiculous battle. Like holy crap. Oh, uh, we were we were not. That was not easy, at all. Whew. I had those cavalry units did not have many numbers at all, and they still clutched it out. Soon Quan got 184 kills. Man. Tough battle, dude. From the roots to heaven. Alright, we gained three thousand dollars from that. Uh we captured Bian Zhu Shu. Grant them dignity and death. And Kao Shuang. But execute. We definitely we need to recruit. I don't have a choice. Have to recruit here. Dismiss. Bend. Do not break. Alright, let's go. So we defeated those armies. Uh we're still in pretty rough shape. Let's keep pulling back. I think that victory maybe Hold bought us some time off. here. We gained the Sovereign of Blades, the King of Swords, man. That sounds dope. And the G of the Imperial Guard. Let's see. This gives 500, 500 damage. This is a lot more and it gives more expertise. Let's give Xiao Chen the Sovereign of Blades. Do that. Sick. All right. Hopefully that bought Ping Jun some time here in the South. But this is still just a giant clusterfuck. All right, I think that's going to end this turn. Uh, let's go ahead and end a turn real fast. 
So this, is a, this might be the most wild episode of, of Three Kingdoms I think I've done. Just non-stop crazy ass battles. I try to zoom in on the battles as much as I can to get like cool close-ups, but it's really hard sometimes just because you can't see shit from that point of view. So real hard to do that. Wow. Oh man. I think I think Ping Jun is dead, man. I think Ping Jun. I think that was all she wrote for Ping Jun, guys. Over there in that rice patty. I think I think Ping Jun just got surrounded, my dudes. Big yikes. See, we can inspire our generals beloved lord 10 public order good harvest let's go ahead and get the bless our generals let's go do that all right <sighs> rebellion rebellion ambushes so we are we're under siege of kangwu jiangling Their Han Empire rebellion here. Those who do not bend to authority will break authority. a lot of money from this one. I am not without mercy. Kang Wu, the city. Strike as one. Okay. Those who oppose harmony must be crushed. More Han Empire renegades put down. Set them loose. They are no threat. Uh, let's see those Kang Wu Wu Wei. <laughs> These rebellions, man. I feel like um, Each public order going low. I understand. So my taxes, taxes are causing rebellions. I understand that. Maybe there's other ways because this is kind of absurd, right? It's just like rebellion, put it down. Rebellion, put it down. The rebellions are actually, I think these rebellions are bringing me more money than if I just, than if I took, I'm getting way more money because of these rebellions. Like, look at this. So maybe, maybe tax should punish me in a different way aside from just like it could result in a rebellion. Maybe there's like a new way they could, they could punish the, like punish me for having my taxes so high is what I'm trying to say. Oh, they actually, they took Ba Dong without a fight, actually. Uh, we were never able to catch up with that. Uh, all right, this army, we can go wipe out, wipe out this rebellion while we're going north anyway. Kill them before it even gets started. We won with integrity. Now let us celebrate with abandon. We also gained a level here. Reflect with shield, cleave with sword. We could give her, so she's using the family spear. We could actually give her this weapon, the G of the Imperial Guard. Let's go do that. And what do we want to give her? 10% armor for her retinue. I wonder what armor actually does. Like, what does that actually do? Uh, knowledge of the spirit is plus 18 morale. This gives armor. Morale would be nice. Let's go ahead and give morale. And this army is on its way to go take retake Ba Dong. What do you wish, my lord? Okay, let's go send uh, this army. I was gonna end the episode. I'll end it in just a moment. Let's go send this army to go take Yi Zhu. I really didn't want to lose Ping Jun, man. Did not want to lose him. This is an easy win. Let's just delegate this one. Our faith was rewarded. Let's go ahead and occupy. Only by growth will the word be spread. Dismiss. Let's go ahead and get rid of all this so I can actually see the stuff that matters. All right, so we've almost wiped out the Kingdom of Ba. That'll be really nice when we can actually do that. Okay, how bad is the situation out here? No. I refuse. So we're being attacked by Lady Wu, who we just defeated in battle. Not this guy who's got basically nothing. And then I there's cannot. this army, which is kind of not great anyway. Welcome, my lord. And we've got a garrison here. Is 
The garrison is pathetic. There's a chance we could just win. There is a chance we could win that, but man, that looks real bad. I mean, I think if I don't attack, if I don't attack, they'll just they'll just wait me out and take it, I think. Pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. This land is bustling with people. There's actually Lu no Yao over here. Trade here. Resume standard positions. Moving as one. Let's go put that army over here in Nanyang. My chambers. Kinda wanna go send Gongdu. Gongdu's still recovering a little bit. Uh from the last battle that they had. I also kind of want to recruit some trebuchets for fuck's sake, but uh, I guess that's going to have to wait. All right, man. I'm like exhausted from this episode. There was so much. I feel like this episode went on for four hours. There were so many battles in this episode. All right, let's go ahead and uh, save our game and uh, we'll call that a day. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the Gong Du campaign. Some of the craziest battles I think I have ever done. We are at 149 turns. You can see how we're spreading in the southwest. And there's not much else to oppose us. This area is the biggest area of issue. The north is kind of taking care of itself just because we have a non... Things are okay with Kong Rong. Like, we're not at war. Kong Rong has control over this northern territory and this mountains. I'm fine with Kong Rong. He can have that. I don't want to fuck with him. It's this area down here that's the major area and hotbed of, of resistance. There's so many armies here, and uh, I've only got one there to deal with it. And I may lose Ping Jun, or I may lose him, and that's like one of my best armies. We may just, they're, they're surrounded right now, and they're in a not great position. Uh, and once we wrap up this, the, these fi this fighting in the southwest, we can hopefully divert more attention here and push north and east. And, uh, yeah, I think before too long, we're going to need more armies to help fight back and defend my land. And we've, we've got plenty of money, so money's not the issue. It's just, uh, it's just woof. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. Uh, more Three Kingdoms Total War campaign to come. Thank you guys. I love you guys. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.